gang, it's my Maya again. Grab your Bible. Luke chapter 12 is where we're at today. And today I'm going to tell you a story that I loved. I had a book about this story when I was your age. And I don't know what it was about that book, but I loved this story. And so I get to share it with you today, and I'm excited about that. Luke chapter 12, and it's verses 15 through 21. So we're going to start in verse 15. And he said unto them, Jesus is talking to his disciples. He says, take heed, watch out, beware. Okay, take heed and beware of covetousness. What is covetousness? Covetousness is wanting what other people have and you don't have. That's being covetous. That's wanting something that God hasn't given you. And it's a sin. He says, beware of it. Take heed. For a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of things which he possesses. Your life is far more than the big house or the car or the jet ski or the boat or, or the pool out back. It's more than what you own. Your life is so much more than, than where we live or what we own. And he's gonna give an example of this. He says, and he spake a parable unto them. Now a parable is a story, not necessarily true, but it has a, a truth that God wants to get across to us. But it's not, it's kind of, I don't wanna say fairy tale, but it's a story, okay? Didn't actually happen. It could have, but it didn't actually. So anyhow, okay. So he, he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. So there was this rich man, and he planted crops. And they grew, and they grew, and they grew, and he had so much stuff. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. I don't have a place to put it all. He had all this corn and beans and carrots and potatoes, and he had no place to put it. And he thought to himself, what should I do? And he said, this will I do. Hmm. I will pull down my barns. They weren't big enough. And I will build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. I'll put it all. I'll tear down the couple barns I have. I'll build up so many more barns. I'll fill them and fill them and fill them and fill them and I'll keep it all there. He was hoarding it. Mm -hmm. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. Now, what's wrong with that? Do fruits and vegetables last for many years? Not usually. I mean, here in Albania, I get papa nectarines. And if I don't put them in the refrigerator, within about three days, they're starting to wrinkle and shrivel because it's so stinking dry and hot here. And, and by, by four days, they're starting to get moldy and yucky. So this guy was not thinking. He says, uh, and he said, so I will take my ease. That means he doesn't have to plant anymore. He's thinking for a couple of years, he doesn't have to plant anymore. Are you kidding me? He wasn't really thinking. But on verse 20, it says, but God said unto him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. Do you know what God was teaching here? Instead of that man keeping all of the things that he had gotten from his garden, instead of that, would it, wouldn't it have been great if he had filled the couple barns that he has? Because God wants us to, to, to take care of our family. He wants us to provide for our family. So there's nothing wrong with having a cabinet full of food nothing wrong with planting a big garden and canning food and putting it in the freezer and but how much better if he had taken care of his family put things in those barns that he already had and then given away the rest to people that needed it how much better would that have been wow and 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 in this parable he dies and 
who's going to get all of that food? Not him. And with our government, hmm, the government comes in and takes things if you haven't prepared for that. So who knows what would have happened to all of that? And Jesus wanted him to see, this is a waste. Don't be coveting other people's things. Don't be getting and getting and hoarding and keeping for yourself, but rather give to people around you. He says, so is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. You know, there are so many people we come in contact with that have very little here on earth, and yet they are so wealthy because they have friends and they have, they have a, a joy in their life and they take care of people that are around them and they don't just think about themselves. But this world is loaded with people that just think about themselves. God says, don't be covetous. Don't only be thinking about yourselves and building more barns to put your stuff in, but rather give your things to God and let him bless and let him use it. So today I want you to think about that. Do I have so much stuff? Maybe you have too many toys. And there are other boys and girls that you know that could, could use some other toys. Maybe God wants you to give some money to um, a missionary that doesn't have much. They come to your church all the time, and I bet you, ha you haven't even noticed them. I want you to think about that. What has God blessed you with that you could share with someone else? But don't be covetous. Covetousness, coveting, is wanting things that God doesn't want us to have. You might want to remember that. I love you. Have a great day.